We have an uh, insulation system, which if a collector buys one, it's very expensive. It's a couple thousand dollars, but it includes the plexiglass shield that goes over the front of it. It's beautifully beveled. It, it's, it runs about four or five inches over the edge, comes out here and down here. So it's a, it really an insulation system, and it hangs out about here, and then there's, there's and then so it creates an insulation where everything stands a few inches off the wall. And it gets really beautiful. We have pictures of, 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 of an insulation somewhere, but we just contemporized it. The same way we did the framing, we, instead of putting traditional framing, we decided to make it more contemporary. And also, speaking to what you said yesterday, we, I love seeing the edges, the decollages on handmade papers. They really are meaningful to me. And there is, by the way, some collectors want to know about this. Because of changes in humidity and temperature, the prints tend to wrinkle and they're organic. They tend to move around a little bit. And they'll change during the season. Sometimes things will just wrinkle up a little bit and then not. And there's a way to prevent it. Matt over them. But it doesn't let you see the edges. It doesn't make it as big. Because, you know, and, and we, we could have done that, put mats on things. Problem with, you couldn't do anything uniform, though, because Dolly's signatures are all over the page. So you couldn't design a mat saying, let's frame that way, this way or that way. So we decided, we like it this way. This is the way we do it with those. So let me talk about both of them. So Dolly worshipped Picasso. He was intimidated by Picasso. Um, and Picasso was a bit of a jerk to him. Um, he was supportive within, within limits. <laughs> but Picasso was all about Picasso. And he was a recluse. And, and he was nowhere. And, and Picasso actually had said, and I think in one of the stories in the book you'll find, so I don't know whether you read this one yet, but, but there was one of the stories that Dali wanted to meet with Picasso, and Picasso said, I love him, I would love to meet with him, and he'll turn it into a precedent. Mm -hmm. So, because Dali, that's what Dali did. Kind of sounds like someone else in our lives in there right now, doesn't it? Someone just turns everything into a precedent. So he turned, so what happened was, Dali and Picasso were both, as part of their historical heritage and their cultural heritage, bullfighting was a big part of their culture, but they were also aboard by it. And they were they thought it was barbaric. And both of them did representations of it because they were re revisiting things that happened in their life. One of the things that bothered Dali the most and Picasso was A, how barbaric it was, and then the hypocritical idea that archbishops and cardinals would come bless the event just before they slaughtered the bulls, like almost making it okay to kill. And that was they thought that was just horrifying. So and you'll find lots of Thing. When he saw, saw hypocrisy in religion, you'll see a cardinal show up with a little red hat in some of these, in some of the designs. And there's a reason he's telling us a story. So what happened well, that was in the late six, late fifties, Picasso had done a whole series of lithographs of the bullfight, and Dali wanted to use some of his imagery and dolonize, dolonize it. And he tried. He contacted. He largely tried to contact Picasso, and they, because what they wanted to do was. They wanted to kind of sample it. They wanted to borrow the imagery and use it so that Dali could create his own imagery. Well, Picasso was getting near the end of his life. He died in 73. This is in the late 60s. So what happened was they just took and sampled them anyway and said, well, we'll wait till he dies before we release the editions. <laughs> because they knew he would say okay, but no one could be in touch with him. He was just, you know, he was, he was, he was in his late 80s, early 90s. So what they did was they took some of the lithographs and they made heliogravures of them. In other words, the heliogravures are photomechanically derived, but they're very complex. They're original print techniques where you use a photographic technique with rosins and, and melting and all kinds of things to, to transfer onto a copper plate the same as you would any other etching, and then you print it like you would hand pull any other etching. So Dali, in all of these pieces, are elements of Picasso's. And what we did was we have a cheat sheet for you to show you what's done on each one of your fol folios. Mm -hmm. that, oh, okay. And then to show what, what Dali did. With, he took, in many cases, he would take the bull and he would add his own mustache to it as if he was being slaughtered. But the, they're, they're very uh, expressive. Um, well, again, we have, we have match number for folios. Um, on these as well, so if someone really wants to, to have a whole portfolio. So he did a whole series on the bullfights. 
So that is this one, which is on arches, this is on arches. Again, from a sweep point of view, the ones that sell first are that one, Burning Giraffe, which is almost done. Um, that's one, and it's, and, it, and it's reflected in its price, it's more expensive. Um, he, this particular piece is, he did this. This is a project for one of the graphics. So he took this and made the action, but this is a this is a unique piece. And again, the same thing applies this to the Apollinaire. If someone buys this again, it's a couple hundred thousand dollars or something. I don't know. We would end up giving along with this. We would give the graphic of so This was called the, the television. So if they buy that, it's also it is a television. Yes, it's a television. Yeah, it's it was very yeah. interesting. So, and again, it's, you know, he signed inside this, the screen here, he's got the bowl in here, so this was him developing it before he went to copper. So, and, 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 and this is a great piece. And what happens with this, in case anybody asks, not only would you get a certificate from Argelay, not only would you get a certificate from us, but you'd also get a certificate from Deshaun.